Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Whoop, I think my camera's a little crooked today. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my channel. Mm. I'm just having a little drinky poo. Um, today I want to show you, um, I, I was trying to find her channel and I couldn't. Um, there was a girl doing some of her own foam um, stamps. So I thought I'd try it. Now, I had these stars here. Uh, they were sticky on the back, but I did use more glue. But they were all um, glitter on the front. So I took off all the glitter from it. You might still see a little bit of glitter here and there. Um, I stuck it on a foam base and then I added a card. This one, I cut it out from, you know I have lots of these. I have got, I've got tons of these navy blue ones. I've also got um, some of these colored ones that um, I think I got it at Dollar Tree, Dollarama, I'm not sure. And I just use a piece of cardboard from any, whatever, any uh, garbage that you're throwing out. These are from stickers, whatever. And all you do, it's so easy and you can make any kind of designs you want. Um, you can cut them into different shapes. These ones are uh, diamonds. Let me see if I have my paper handy. So here's what they look like. That's the diamond one. That's the triangle. That's actually, this one's the star. I didn't do this one yet. And this is the circle. Now, do I still have that other paper here? Um, here. So here's a page that I had and I used this stamp here and here and here. So if you want to get some kind of grungy look or some, you know, different designs, you can make your own. This was the most difficult because, let me uh, grab, who knows where I put things. Here we are, my big scissors. Um, I used my little scissors to make the first cut. I think I'm going to try uh, just, I just poked it through. You can poke it through. And I'm just going to cut as close to the edge. Oh, it's going to be another oval if I don't turn properly. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. You know, we're making these on our own. So that's the first one. Now I want to um, dig in again and cut around. And it, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see if we can cut it. If you're really good at fussy cutting, you'd be really good at this. I'm not good at fussy cutting. Okay, now what I'll do for this is, um, after I do this one, after I do the next one, I will um, speed it up so that you can see. So there's kind of the round one. Now, we can't use the next size. So what I thought was a better idea was to just cut out a little bit just to give it room. And again, I'm not really cutting a very good circle, but that's okay. So this part is garbage. Now we're gonna see if it'll fit. Okay, it'll fit in there. We need to have some space, so I may, I may just trim this a little bit just to give me a little bit more space. Okay. Now we can cut out the next size. And again, I'm just going around 
Sorry, I don't know if I was in frame or not. You can make them as thin or as wide as you want. I'm sure you've seen this before. There's a lot of videos out there showing you how to make your own foam uh, stamps. So this one, will, will it give me enough room? Now, I can always kind of trim it and make it a little thinner so that uh, it'll fit better. I just find this is, I mean, it's, it's full of electricity is what it is. In some of the areas where it's a little fatter, let's see how that, okay. Good, so that gives me space around it. Again, I'm gonna cut this off because it will not fit in that circle. Okay, let's see. Now that will fit perfectly. Again, this is garbage. So I can poke it, cut it. And like I say, if you're good at f fussy cutting, you'd be good at doing this. Now, some people have foam that have, have, have um, adhesive backing, like my stars here, which is from like a Dollar Tree sticker. Oop, let me cut that part off. Come on. There we go. That's pretty cool. Now, if I want one more in there, I have to cut this around to get it to fit. And I'll show you in a second what I mean. As I say, I'm not good at perfect circles, but, and you can leave it like that with the dot or you can make it even smaller, or you can cut through and make another one. Um, this has got three. I think I'll leave it at the three. I think three is kind of a good number. Like I say, I could always cut this down even more. And like I say, I'm not good at circles. Definitely not good at circles, but if you are, I could put a center in there. Okay, so that's the cutting out part. That's the easy part, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I will, because it's easier to see, um, I will cut this about this size. You know, you can cut it any size you want. And then I'm going to glue it. Now you can use any glue that you, you want to use. I, um, I've been using the three and one. Let's see if it's still going to come out for me because it's been giving me difficulty in this small bottle. Okay, we'll get the big one because I haven't got patience for it right now. We'll just leave it. Let's get the big one. Let's get the big one out. You can also use hot glue. I just don't have my, I don't have my, um, glue on. I don't have my gun on. My gun. My glue gun, to be more specific. My gluey, gluey gun. And all I'm going to do is just glue it on. Not much to it. I can even put it down and glue it like this so it's easier for me. I hope you can See me, I'm a little out of frame here. Here we go. It may look like I'm shaking, but I'm trying to I'm trying to squeeze the bottle. We'll take that one and we'll put it right on here like that. It's as easy as this. I mean, many of you already probably already know that. And the next one, so I'm gonna speed this up because now you know how I glue.
And there we have it. Now, um, I like to back it onto a card. Onto a card. Let's see. Oh, that'll fit nicely in there. And of course, my my cutting is crooked, but that's okay. That is okay. We will fix it later. I'm just going to glue it on here. I could have done it the other way, right? I could have just glued on here. It'll just keep it more secure. Okay. We'll just glue that on here. There we go. Is it over far enough? Yep. And now I'm just going to, I mean, you don't have to. I'm just going to try and make it a little straighter. I mean, I could also oval it. I don't, you know, garbage. So there we are. So there we have those. Now, I have been stamping with my Vintage Photo Distress. I haven't tried any other um, colors. Now, I've got my archival ink. I don't want to waste that. Let me just try some ordinary black. I, th I don't know where I got it. Recollections? Recollections. It's quite, uh, I think it's quite full, so it must be fairly new. I haven't tested it with this one, so let's have a look and see how it stamps. What I like about having the flat background is that it gives me a little bit of space. Look at that. That is perfect. Perfect. Let's try the other stars that I haven't tried yet. And basically, that is it. Make it any shape you want. Um, if you happen to have stickers like I do, like these um, stars, I just took off all of the, because I, I don't think I was ever going to use them. Maybe, maybe I would. I don't know. There we go. Now, hold on a second. I had an idea. Okay, just I got this brilliant idea. I want to try. I know it's paper on top. I have no idea how it's going to work, but these are all heart stickers and they're foam stickers. So, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put two of them right side up. I'm going to get my, my magic powder, I call it. Okay, now I'm going to take a bigger one and try and get off all of the stickiness from there all around it i don't know if you can see me in the corner here uh, no you can't anyway just over here just over here <laughs> uh, i'm just taking off the sticky all the way around. I have no idea if that works permanently or not. I'm going to give this a try and see if these, let me try a little one. Now this is all baby powder. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm curious. <laughs> I just thought of it and I thought, oh my gosh, I could be using, let me go that way. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm gonna use my cheap black um, ink. As I said, I don't know how it works on the one that has the, the glue but let's give it a try. I haven't put a backing on this one. I just wanted to see 
Wow. Okay, so these ones are the ones with the paper on top. And maybe a little bit of the design is coming through. Let's see. I'm just kind of curious here now. Yeah. I'm just curious. Hmm. I thought maybe the design might have come through. So there I've got the hearts. So if you have foam stickers, now I want to try <laughs> these poor little gnomes. I know it's a shame to use them, but I had two packages of them. And I do want to make sure that I am covering it completely and on the sides in case there's any stickiness. Okay, we're going to put him this way, little guy. I have no idea. I'm just thinking, you know, when, we're, when we've got things that we're not using. And here's the other one. Again, I'm just putting baby powder on it. I suppose if you have cornstarch, you, you know, if you're using cornstarch for your uh, anti-static, I think it is, for your stamps. Okay, now I have to glue this one the opposite way, right? I have no idea what I'm doing. I just wanted to try it just to see what kind of um, stamping we can get out of it. So there's one that way and there's one that way. So again, I'm just gonna use my cheapy one, my recollection, I call it cheapy. Oh, I wonder if that's going to come out that way. I don't know. I'm just pressing down. I haven't put any cardboard behind it to kind of give me a little bit more solid. I just want to see. Well, isn't that interesting? So this is this one here. Let's try it again. And see, so again, oh. This is the one with the paper, and this is the other one. Because I flipped them over. Yeah. So if you have some extra ones and you just want to do some stamping, there you go. So here's some cute little ideas. Now, if you want to, I don't, I don't know if these wipe off or not. I have no idea. Grab a wet one. See if the ink will come off. It does. Okay. Good. So we can wipe off the ink if we want to use a different color. I think it's taken off the baby powder too. Look at that black ink. Okay, let's aha. Uh -huh. By taking by by taking the um, ink off with something wet, it leaves the uh, sticky on the. I wanted to use a um, a distress ink, so let's try. A distress ink. And I bet paint would be great too if you wanted to use paint. Give it a second to adhere. Okay, so the ones with the uh, paper topping, I don't even know if it comes off. Um, is is very faint. Let me see if I can do just one here. Yeah, it's very faint, but if that's all you want, a faint background, that's kind of cool. 
There we go. So the one with the, the baby powder, the backing, that one is, uh, it's just, I'm just putting baby powder on it again. And let's see, oops, how this one turns out. Okay, let's flip her. Oops, I got too much on there. I must have another page here somewhere. Okay, let's try on here. Whoop. Okay, so the one with the uh, paper topping doesn't come out as good with the Oxide Distress ink, but it comes out okay. Well, it's kind of faint with the black. I mean, I'm just suggesting, here we go. You know, if you want little shadows on, on paper. Anyway, that's it for me for today. <laughs> me and my silly nonsense. I just wanted to show you how you can make your own uh, different patterns of, you know, things. You could make all kinds of stuff. And these are kind of cool. I'm going to keep those in my stash as well. And uh, yeah, go that, that, and that will all go into a box. And I will have a good supply. I'm going to also keep the papers with it so that um, it gives me an idea of what kind of finish I'm going to get. And here we are with dirty hands. So what do you think? Would you would you give it a try? I have this navy blue um, foam. I've got packages like this wide. There must be hundreds in there of these. Um, so I'm th I'm glad I've found a use for it, and that is to make make odd shaped stamps. Um, you know when you're doing a little grungy work and you want to have circles or, you know, you can even have like cut out, say on a different color because, you know, whatever. You, if you want to cut out all kinds of odd shaped circles, not that I'm good at it, but you could always, because it's foam, you can always push in the foam, twist it a little bit, and you get a circle, and that'll give you a guide to be able to cut around it. Now, you don't have to cut it perfect, but if you want it perfect, there you go. So any kind of top, you know, I've got the top of the glue here. You just press it down. I think you can see that. I hope you can see that. Um, you see the indentation, and then you can just make your own designs. It's kind of like bubble wrap. And then just cut them out and glue them on another piece and you're all set. All right, that's it for me for today. Thank you for joining me. I just was having a little fun here today. I saw I was going through videos and I saw a girl doing it and I said, ah, oh, I got to give that a try. And I'm glad I did because they're kind of cool. I mean, I don't know about these fun ones here and the stars and so on. But these ones here would be great in my journals. You know, if you just want a little, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, it would be fun. I know, I was supposed to say goodbye and I'm still here. Um, did we try our new one? I don't remember. Let's try it with, um, I'll do it this way. Sometimes the pressure is better when you press down. I think I did try it. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's easier if you press down, and sometimes it's better if you just kind of wiggle it on there. Let us see. <coughs> Excuse me. I think what you can also do is 
do this. Okay, spritz a little water. I'm really making a mess here, aren't I? Spritz a little water. Okay, that came out pretty good. Let's try it with the wet. My fear is that it's going to saturate the saturate the um, the paper, but we shall see. Maybe if I don't leave it on too long, ah, oh, we get a nice dark. And I bet paint would be great too. Let me flip this over. Do I have anything on the other side? That is kind of cool. Let's try this one. Oops, kind of squeaking when you rub it all over the place. Now that is cool. You can get all kinds of really cool designs out of it just by using the wet. Let's try the diamonds. I just didn't want to waste it. Let's do some diamonds. Let's get another page. Ooh, cool. I think the whole trick though is to uh, cover the whole thing. I'm not covering it all properly. But you may only want a little faint. Wow, I like that. Let's try the, while it's still wet and I'm getting messy and shaking the camera. See if I can get that right on there. Da da. So you can do all kinds of cool things depending on the pattern that you want. Okay, that is it for me this time for sure. <laughs> Most of you are saying it's about time. It's about time. All right. So that is my DIY foam sticker. Make your own foam stickers. And those are all the patterns that I created and dirty. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.